I don't know if the city yeah, increases ahead, the pressure of our performance, but certainly having, you know, so many old friends and familiar faces and all our, our family members really brings a special energy to the show. And I think we all put a little little extra pressure on ourselves to bring all the energy we can and to make sure that we're playing as cleanly as we possibly can when we have an audience like that too. We're we're really trying to make the community that we came from proud when we're on that stage. I think you summed it up pretty good. I mean, I think we certainly wanna, you know, that's the our hometown, so all our families there. I think you always wanna give your family a great show, but but honestly, I feel like all of us put a lot of pressure on ourselves every show to, to bring it. Um, and we always have, have, I think our greatest strength maybe as a band is just our drive and our deep desire to never dial it in to never give a half-ass show whether we were playing to like 10 people uh or 90,000 people last night it's always been the same amount of energy i can't think of one show where i feel like okay guys we really like dial it in like genuinely in almost 15 years there's something about the stage and the responsibility we feel that we all share the same desire to give it the best show we can. We try to tell a story. Wayne always puts together the storytelling piece of, of the show. So for instance, with the Mercury Tour, he wrote a bunch of poetry and kind of tells this story that goes along with visuals and there's kind of these intermissions that go along with the story that's told by the songs and the albums, you know, goes uh, through the albums. And he's done a really good job, I think, of stepping back and analyzing all the lyrics that I've written for 15 years and and putting it into saying it better than I could say it really in a, th in a summary kind of way and, and found a, a really great orator that kind of tells the story. And, so that's a big part of it. And then also we want to play the songs that the fans want to hear. We're grateful for every person that comes out and spends their hard earned money to come and see our show. And we want to give them that show. And we want to play those songs that meant a lot to them. And at this point, there's a lot of songs and we can't hit all the marks uh, within the time limit, but we get on stage for over two hours and we play the majority of the songs that, that we feel the fans want to hear. And then some that we want to play as well on top of that. I can't speak to the other guys, but I, I don't think so. Uh, because typically the songs that we want to play are the songs that the fans want to hear. Uh, that's not always the case. There's certainly like a few songs that don't make the set list that I think, you know, we would want to play, but we, we have rotating, like it's not always the same set list. So we have a bunch of different slots that we kind of, you know, if we're like, you know what guys, let's play this, B-side off this one record that nobody really liked, but we really like it. We'll throw it in. So we, we still get to play this. We, we strike a balance, I guess, is the short answer. We, 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 we strike a balance of playing the songs people want to hear and also the songs we want to play. We play the music that we're connected with and we, we really don't put any music that we're not connected with out on the album. So by the time we're out on a tour, you know, every song that people have heard we every one of us has a unique connection to one of those songs when we get on stage you know it's not challenging for us to tap into the place where we were when we were excited about putting that song on the album and to bring that excitement into performing it for a crowd it's not too much i mean every everything we do is filmed you know every show we've ever played every it's all recorded, uh, audio is always recorded, and we have like stacks and stacks of hard drives. I think there's a room that's like almost full with, with hard drives. So every show we played for 12 or 13 years has been recorded. And then the, also the video to that recording is also on the hard drive. So we're used to be, things being filmed. I mean, yeah, it's, it was a little different just because there's a lot more cameras there. And, you know, at least I was a little bit mindful of like, you know, of it being filmed, but I tried not to think about it. I tried to just get out of my mind and just have fun and just connect with the people that were there. I mean, I think we mostly did that, you know, we were used to enough to it that it wasn't too big of an issue. I probably put a little more effort into picking out the outfit I was going to wear that night. But by the time I got on stage, it was just, you know, excitement to perform the music and being excited that we had so many friends and family 
you know, in the crowd that we wanted to be able to play for. But it wasn't it wasn't so much the cameras um, once we figured out the wardrobe. I think it was all about just playing for the people that have been there for us for the past nearly 15 years, supporting us in our journey as Imagine Dragons. This really felt n not so much like a documentary as much as filming a special show uh, in our hometown and then being interviewed kind of about that show and the the history of kind of where we've been to, to now. Yeah, so whereas like Believer, for instance, was kind of filmed over a long period of time and, and was a journey and kind of telling a story and, and uh, didn't really even know what that story was and kind of just was unfolding as it did. So yeah, you know, this, this kind of, I would say this was a very different experience. This was kind of just wanting to put on a really special show and then be able to share that show with people who don't maybe get to go to an Imagine Dragons show for whether it's because we haven't come to their country or city or they couldn't afford to come out or whatever that is. We want to really reach as many people as we can, especially the people who listen to our music and, and love it and want to hear it and want to see that show. Um, that was really the impetus of kind of putting this together. No, we really entrusted everything into our partner, Matt Easton, who's worked with us for over a decade, has filmed the majority of our music videos. He's a dear friend. He directed it all and kind of put it, he interviewed us. So it felt like just talking to your friend. And there was nothing that we saw. When they showed us the first edit, there was nothing that we were like, I'm embarrassed about that, please take it out. I think so much of our life has been shared uh, with, with or without our, you know, approval for so many years, like every show is filmed and, uh, you know, or sometimes you will we'll go to eat and someone's taking a picture of you eating. And, you know, it's like it, it, we we signed up for that when we joined this band. So I think we try to just be honest and share the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever it is. Uh, and I thought Matt did a fantastic job of putting it together. And so I don't think there was any edit that any of us had that was like, you know, I don't feel comfortable with with that, please take it ours. I think, yeah, I think our greatest uh, goal as a band is to facilitate a space or a time period where someone can feel. <laughs> they can feel their emotions and music can really help, I think, amplify that. For me growing up, I really had a hard time expressing myself and music I found when I would write music I could express things that I couldn't say whether I was too embarrassed or um, just didn't know how to say it for some reason melody helped me tell that and I felt the same when listening to music it's as if someone was saying something to me that would open doors like floodgates I would cry I would feel anger that I needed to feel like these healthy emotions that I would suppress and bottle so I think our goal at a show or when someone is watching a show at home in their living room or whatever, on, on you know watching this documentary, is for them to see how it relates to them in their life, uh, to feel the things that they need to feel and express the emotions that they need to let out. That's our goal at a concert. That's our goal, I think, in everything that we do is to tell our truth and hopefully people can find their truth in it as well and feel less alone or feel allowed to express what they need to.